All right, now on the CJ Stroud MVP talks, okay? So, obviously, we're kind of in unknown waters from for, for a lot of people right now when it comes to a rookie quarterback, a rookie player being an MVP candidate. And personally, we just look at the stats, which we'll get into. He looks like he should be. I don't think it's ever just, happened. I'll we'll look get it into up, that. But... Well, no, 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 I got it. I got it. Okay, I'm prepared. Okay. I'm prepared, okay, right? Okay, okay. Um, CJ Stroud statistically looks like the best quarterback in the NFL right now. All right, if we're just talking about that, but let's let's talk about this. So the last time I just looked up who it, the okay. last time a rookie has received votes in the MVP race was in 2008. There was one vote. Let me guess. It was, Can, it's definitely it a quarterback. Was, right? It was Chris Johnson, the Titans running back, 2008. All right. Wow. CJ outside of that, outside of that, okay, we had uh, Edrickin James, the Colts running back, who got one vote in 1999. Uh, Randy Moss in 1998 was tied for third Fair place, Fair four enough. votes. Fair Fair uh, Franco Harris, 1972, uh, is tied for sixth place, two votes. He's a Steelers running back. Uh, Gail Say- uh, Sayers, Bears running back, uh, 1965, got a vote. Eric Dickerson in 1983 got 18 votes, was in second place. Uh, Earl Campbell in 1978, second place, 33 votes. Third place uh, in 1983 was Dan Marino, uh, the only quarterback on this list, I believe. Um, 1983, three votes. Marcus Allen. Marcus Allen in 1982. And then the only person who's won it is Jim Brown in 1957 Bears running or Brown's running back. So I, I just looked up his stats that year. He had 957 rushing <laughs> yards and nine touchdowns. How, I yeah. mean, that's 1957, 1957, but that's poverty. just in general, uh, in general, it has been 40 years to the year, by the way, 40 years to the year since a rookie quarterback, since any rookie quarterback has received votes. Um, and the last hmm. time it happened was, uh, what, 16 years ago, 15 years ago. So it's been so, a while in a way. What you're telling me is that it is, so just going to have to keep on balling and he he's going to have to keep on balling this year. So uh, and we're also saying it's not impossible. It is yeah. like, we've seen the votes, Players have unlikely. gotten votes in recent memory and Chris Johnson. Right. But let's also say, keep this in mind that year, Chris Johnson, 2008 was also, uh, Adrian Peterson's rookie year. Adrian Peterson didn't get a vote and he dropped 296 on your Chargers. So, um, but look, let's just talk about right now. That's the past that that's precedence. All right. So there's precedence for rookie players to get votes. There's precedence for rookie quarterbacks to get votes. Hasn't been in recent memory, but that's precedence. All right. Hey, I remember a time when there had never been a freshman Heisman winner. And then that kid, Johnny Manziel came around. So I remember yeah. that right. too. I remember but, that too. But right now, right now, CJ Stroud odds wise, we don't have the vote number odds yeah. wise right yeah, now odds. on the books. Plus 2000. He's tied for sixth fifth. place. Fifth, fifth tied place. For fifth. fifth place. Okay. Right now, statistically speaking, uh, he is second in stats uh, among all quarterbacks. Or sorry, second second in yards among all quarterbacks behind Sam Howell. Okay, he has two interceptions, which leads the league uh, in lowest amount of interceptions. Fifteen touchdowns, which is up there. Okay, most yards per game. And he also has a very low uh, aggressive throw percentage, which means he's being very smart. Okay. So let's just put it that way. He's putting the ball on the money. Okay. Now, wait, wait, MB- that aggressive throw percentage makes you feel a little bad. Uh, like when you mean aggressive, do you mean like turnover percent? But like, yes, are you it's, talking? It's like, it's like the, okay. the turnover worthy throw, I like ideology, right? Because I was now, about to say, I, I didn't think I'd have to get on here and, defend cj's average depth of target but i'll, I'll do it no that has nothing to do with depth of target that has nothing to do with that um I just hear aggressive now, throws i'm thinking now the mvp race is obviously it's kind of like the heisman storyline we're talking about you know there's more to a quarterback than stats there's more to a quarterback than stats all right let's talk about storyline now let's talk about storyline texans last year you want to remind me what the texans stats are what they're what they're ranking was last year by the way what their overall record was last year two and who three. their quarterback was two or three they, wins they two or three wins right second overall pick. draft davis mills 
They had Davis Mills at quarterback, right? That's where they were last year, and nothing really has changed team-wise between last year and this year. Nico Collins, same as last year. Okay, they bring in Tank Dell. Robert Woods has done nothing. We're not going to count that. Okay, Don't Robert tell Woods me Noah count. Brown was a key pickup from the Cowboys. Shut the fuck up. None of you knew On who On the was defensive the side, the only big difference, they bring in Will Anderson. By the way, they get rid of their veteran leadership on defense. Christian Stingley Kersey, also out. sucks. Like Stingley yeah. is not good. Like, not great. Jalen Petre, great though. He's playing really well. Yes, uh, that is but, one of our guys. Yes. But, but let's look at that. So nothing much has changed going from two and whatever. Second overall pick, that bad of record to what we're seeing right now. Nothing has really changed beside coach, quarterback, edge rusher. Okay. CJ Stroud just completed one of the best games comeback kind of games that we've seen from a quarterback from a player you're talking about this sunday or the sunday before this sunday we're just gonna go oh, on this okay okay against the team by oh, the way yeah, he's a, bengals, done it twice. a bengals team that it was fighting for the game that came back right who's a great team uh, was a super bowl favorite right he will yeah, we don't need to team. hype up the Bengals. We know <laughs> he not. will he willed his team to a win in that, taking headshots, getting hit. He put well, the ball in the real money. Real quick, I just want to say he took he took one headshot, so he was already wrapped up by two guys, and he was getting tackled. And then yeah, Miles Murphy, headshot. dirty ass player. And they yeah. didn't call it. I was like, I'm sorry, but like, Peter hey, Schrager, the passer. We've Peter already Schrager's our, on the phone with with NFL officiating. We've already gave we our like opinion, being like we don't we don't like this do roughing the passer. But if those are the rules, then how was that not rough? You know, like if those are the rules, then how was that? Not? But, but regardless, I just want to say him throwing a pick late, and uh, Cincinnati goes down, scores, uh, ties the game up. Hey, forget rookie quarterbacks, just. There's not many quarterbacks that can respond after throwing a pick to give them, I guess, kind of get them back in the game and to go and back down and then lead a drive. Like, look, like if you came into this season, let's also talk about this one. We didn't. Nobody really thought they're going to do well. I thought they were going to be okay, oh, but no. but I didn't I, think I they were going to be like this. Impression they're going like three and third. But CJ Stroud has created a a offensive system where you're talking about Nico Collins as a great as as an upside elite wide receiver in the like nfl noah brown has put up 102 straight weeks like what are we and what are that we is about? not there's 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 nothing where we can be like no oc is going to make a quarterback be able to do the things that like, you can scheme up and all those things but the quarterback's play is still the quarterback's play and he's taking the leadership role on the team in such a regard where everybody wants to be around him. He has elevated well, the wide receivers around him who, who also, why, by the way, the wide receivers around him, let me, let's just look up. Let me just look up Nico Collins stats from last year real quick. Um, I, mean, I got Noah I, Brown's up right now. Pull that up. Well, he was on, he was on, um, he was on the Cowboys, Cowboys. last year. Um, and obviously he's just, uh, he's just been, good the last two weeks uh but you know still still that's uh impressive but like nico no, I mean, collins he's elevating the play out of his nico receivers. nico collins like, nico collins has been on the team for three seasons all right including last year where i would say he was the wide receiver well two but one because brandon cooks was there but like was hurt so wide receiver one last year he played 10 games, all right, 10 games. Through 10 games, 481 yards, had two touchdowns. Today, through eight games, 631 yards, four touchdowns. Like, that is crazy to me. And Tank Dell has been a great wide receiver, but we cannot say that the reason why he – that C.J. Stroud is not a reason why he's looked that great. Tank Dell? Yeah. Oh, are you saying and, just Tank Dell's just been putting work on his own? I think, no, he has, but I think CJ Stroud is a very big reason why Tank Dell has looked so phenomenal. And oh, I just, yeah, no, yeah, yes. Like he's elevating the play out of his players no, around like, him. He's like, literally bringing everyone. CJ Stroud him. is doing everything that he physically can to get into the MVP conversation. He's playing better right now than Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. He and Jalen Hurts, 
perennial MVP conversation quarterbacks. It's uh, stupid, but I'd say they, they got to get, they just got to make the playoffs. Like, like I, it's oh, stupid, yeah. but it's and, like, you know, like the playoffs, that, I think that's also a narrative a thing. That's a narrative thing where, yeah. you know, like most players who win the MVP are playoff players. Yes. Um, like right now, let's just see where they, they are in this conversation, the playoffs. Right now, they have a playoff spot. Wow. They're the very last team in the playoffs right now. Hey, they're only one um, game behind Jacksonville, and they play Jacksonville they one, in two weeks. They're one game, weekend. which I'd be shitting my pants, by the way, if I was if I was Jacksonville. It's in Houston, too. They are one game behind the Dolphins, the Jaguars, the Steelers, and the Browns. They're one game behind all of those teams. Hey, it's tight. It's a tight race. They could get it done. They, they are done. currently over the Bills and the Bengals for that playoff spot. So to me, obviously, that's like the big narrative is, okay, you got to get in the playoffs. But CJ Stroud has the stats to back it up. He's playing better than other MVP candidate quarterbacks that we always talk about. He's elevating a team that was one of the worst teams in the NFL yeah. last season, all right, who people didn't think were going to do well. It's a complete turnaround. They're now competing for the division after being so bad. He is elevating the players around him. He also, by the way, we want to talk narrative. There's the whole thing with his dad going on right now too, where he's like, that's so, that's so, it's but, sad. but it is, it is still, it's still a point, you know, people, you know, it's something. So I just, you know, I, I'm just saying there's precedence before for, for rookies to at least get votes. There's been a rookie who has won it before, arguably, I mean, it's 1957, but Still, that was a hilarious um, stat line he had to win MVP. And there's hilarious. been there's been a rookie quarterback before who has put up worse numbers and has gotten votes. I'm so, all game for the CJ Dan Marino comparisons. I love it. I love so it. I'm just saying, you know, if we want to be completely honest with ourselves, we've talked about CJ Stroud. He's he's got rookie of the year locked down. That's no matter what. But but CJ Stroud has elevated a team to above 500 right now. Who was we'll say two and fourteen, two and fifteen last year? Yeah, I don't right? remember. Second overall win. pick. He has elevated players around him, and he's second in stats as a quarterback. And obviously, you know, uh, Sam Howell is above him right now. Um, with pre- credence to Sam Howell, that's fantastic. But two, two turn, two, two fumble or two interceptions, fifteen touchdowns, second in yards. And first in yards per game. Statistically, he has everything that you would want an MVP candidate. And I mean, realistically, this I guess doesn't matter. But like those two comeback wins, I mean, and he has had his MVP moments. That's what people remember. Like they, yeah, those games. Like I, I'm, I'm gonna look up when they're on prime time. Like he's doing if this by the way. All right, let's this year, real quick. Let's, let's real start quick. with that. I'm not. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But they also, do not also, have a single prime time game for the rest of the season. Also, just talking about quarterbacks real quick. Other MVP candidate quarterbacks. All right. Let's say Patrick Mahomes. Okay, yeah, he I is. I think traveling. they have him as number one right now. But but let's talk about this. Okay, let's just talk about general situation. Patrick Mahomes. He has Travis Kelsey. All right. Josh Allen, oh, Stefan Diggs. Everett, I'm sorry. We're gonna have to cut. We're gonna have to cut the segment short. Um, how did the NFL not put the video of Swift and Kelsey kissing? How was that not all over the Twitter? Josh, Josh Dobbs, Josh Dobbs. No, I, I'm aware that he was on there, but like, how? Because they got flack. Because they got flack earlier. But let me finish making no, no, this point real quick. No, no, let me finish I, making I, this point. Just let me let me finish making this point. Mahomes has Kelsey. Allen has Stefan Diggs. Uh Dak has CD Lamb. Jalen Hurts has the entirety of the of that offensive line and AJ Brown. All right. Uh Burrow has Jamar Lamar. I mean at Mark Andrews. Every other player that would be considered there as a quarterback that would be considered over CJ Stroud is in a much better situation, which much better set of weapons. And CJ Stroud's doing this right now. So. And, you know, final point, I personally don't care about this at all, but CJ is a defensive coach, so he's already at a disadvantage. And he has to go overcome that adversity. Boom. Boom. MVP. MVP. He's got he's to have, like, one more comeback win. I wish they played on Thanksgiving. He, like he needs they need to flex him in a prime time and he needs to go off 
and that's how he'll do it. But they currently do not have a primetime game for the rest of the season. I don't think they have played in one yet up to this point. So, like, they might not have one all year. So, flex candidate. They're a flex candidate. I agree with that. I agree with that. Like, we got to get him in primetime. That's actually how we're going to get this to happen. He needs to ball up in primetime. That's how That's how it's going to happen. Um, but you have anything else to say? We've been going for... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll wrap it up. We'll save this one for the next time. But Trevor Lawrence officially garbage, okay? Officially garbage. 